I think sustainability is one of those issues that we've been exploring now since 1988 when the concept first came on the horizon. And we've known for quite a while, at least since the late 1990s, technically what we need to do about issues like climate change and water, even things like plastics. The challenge for us now is to help identify what are the structures and systems that need to underpin critical functions in the planet like commerce and trade um, to enable us to know the difference between real impact and um, healthy PR. Uh, it's great for everybody now to believe that sustainability is important and you won't hear a business leader anywhere on earth saying we don't care about sustainability but very few of them are actually doing the critical hard yards to actually change the systems that underpin what they do and a great example of that is Tata. Tata uh, devotes 66 percent of all of their profits into community programs and, and investments in helping communities to do things differently. Fair trade is another example I have the privilege to be the CEO of Fairtrade Australia New Zealand. Fairtrade's entire work is, is in restructuring the underpinnings of trade globally to ensure that there is inclusive growth for the farmers, that the poor and marginalized of the world that are growing our coffee, tea and cocoa actually get a fair price for their commodities. So these are the structural changes that are the hard yards we need to do. We know how to do it. The challenge is finding companies and leaders out there that are actually willing to measure that impact and do it in a really transparent way so that the consumers know the difference.